Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are uh, building on to our little uh, our little plane right here, as you guys can see. It it, it currently only has two engines. Um, it is a big plane though, and a few of you guys have said, yeah, it might want four. And uh, I feel like you might be right. Um, the problem with them is that these propellers are just too small. Um, but if we change to the bigger ones, the bigger ones are too big. So, um, we can't really do anything with that. Um, you guys also said about moving these down one. Uh, that might actually make them look a little bit nicer. But at the same time, I think I might put some sort of, I don't know, something on the top of here to make it look a little bit better. Um, but we'll have to see what happens there. Anyway, uh, for now, we're going to actually work on um, possibly adding another engine to the side of each one of these. Um, and then, we'll actually probably put in some of the cockpit because... I kind of want to see what this is going to look like. Uh, we might also put in sort of the floor in here. And, 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 maybe a cargo door at the back. So, like, this thing might actually open up. That would be quite cool, maybe. Um, so, we'll see what happens. Um, and hopefully, we can make it look kind of kind of cool. Hey! Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and actually put a hole in the roof. Reason being is I want to be able to get inside uh, when it's when it's in. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Uh, I do also kind of want to paint that bit right there, but I can't. Like, we need to delete this to actually get to it, and that's just a little bit annoying. Actually, we, uh, we can. We can do that. We only have to delete one side. That's okay. Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to quickly paint that. Because that's our job and stuff. We're going to paint all the way around here as well. And we're actually going to paint up to there. Yeah, all the way around the top. There we go. And all of this bit. So a few of you guys, or one of you guys actually said about putting in um, something like a glass roof. Uh, that seemed like a cool idea at the time, but I'm not sure it's actually... Um, I don't think it would look very good in the end. Not, not really. Um, but we're going to put this in so we can actually see better out of here. That's fine. We're also going to put this in so we can, uh, I don't know. So things aren't so aggressive, I guess, the corners and things. Um, not sure how we're going to do the front piece. So I'm not very good at doing the front piece. I'm not going to lie. Um, but we're going to try and make it look as pretty as we possibly can. I can't raise that up. Oh, putting these, this piece in is going to be more annoying than I thought. Oh, no. There we go. That was easy. Um, so yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, we need to put in a floor. So I'm gonna do the floor out of pink uh, So we can see which one the floor is there we go, and we're gonna do something like this. Yes Might have to go one down actually um, But what I want to do is I want to have two seats in here um, So if we can get a pilot seat, we're gonna go with Compact pilot seat. Yeah, actually that can go right here towards the front actually let's go backwards a little bit there oh yeah this is good uh then we're gonna go ahead and get a different color like this purple uh and we're gonna do this okay we're then gonna do this across here and something down the side also um yeah this will be fine there we go cool uh we're also gonna do this just to make it look a little bit better okay awesome so, we're going to need instrument panels and things uh, to go across here. So, we'll get a dial. We'll actually get loads of dials right now, and we'll fit them all in. So, um, the problem is this is going to be in the way, but I guess that's fine. So, we'll do like three of these. Um, actually, just two. We need an artificial horizon to go in the middle. Uh, the right way up, hopefully. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and then we need, I guess, some other things. What other displays do we actually have? We could put some, like, some actual monitors in if we wanted to, uh, but I'm not sure. So we'll actually put these in, because uh, at the end of the day, we can use them. Uh, so that's fine. So we'll have, like, each engine can have one of these each, um, and we can actually sort out whether what RPS it's got, what temperature it is, and stuff like that, um, as well as maybe fuel for each, each side, which leaves these ones to be uh, speed, because speed should be quite big, and altitude, because altitude should be quite big too. So that's those pretty much done. Um, that does also mean that we can change the color to whatever we want it to be. And I kind of like the Russian look of going green. Uh, however, the green does look a little bit strange sometimes. But 
Yeah, maybe something like this. I want it to look different. Just a, just a little bit, maybe like a more of a blue. If we can make it more bluey, that would be kind of cool. Um, that's too green. Yeah, more like more like this kind. Oh, maybe not. More like this color. I don't know. Does that look strange? I think that looks strange. Um, and then the floor itself can be like this kind of orangey color. Uh, and that works. I mean, it looks weird. It does look strange, but. Or if we make it a little bit less, a little bit less aggressive. Yeah, that'll do. All right, cool. So I actually kind of like this color. Uh, both of them match quite nicely and that will do fine. Um, okay, so we need a throttle lever and stuff like that in here so we can actually take off uh, at some point. That'd be nice. Um, do, 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 do. We're going to go ahead and actually fill in this bit also. And this bit, there we go. And we might as well put a piece in here. Boop. There we go. Good. So we've got a big old table. Um, and we can put stuff in it or on it. If we delete these, we can put a throttle levers in there. Um, like this. There we go. Might not be too effective in the corners, but that's fine. And we'll actually have our starter key. I kind of want to... No. I don't want to start a key in the middle, do I? Not really. Um, what if we have, like, coolant pumps and everything? That'd be quite good. Uh, I kind of feel like we should have a, a mini room up here. Uh, full of equipment and stuff. So, because it's going to be a rogue mode, um, plane, we might as well have quite a few, like, a little bit of equipment that we can use. So, we should be able to walk around in here. I think. Uh, and in fact, actually, the problem we're going to have right now is that this isn't closed. <laughs> so I'm going to have to ha I'm going to put a hatch in uh just for now. So we'll get red and we'll do this. We need frantic red which is this. Uh we'll just do that. There we go. Uh so to get in, it's fine. It doesn't have power. We can just jump in. Um but yeah, so far it looks quite nice. And we get in here. Oh yeah. We we don't really have enough room. Gonna have to crouch around in here. <laughs> um, but that's fine because the pilots are in the right place. Like, this is the right place. Uh, everything in here looks fine. We got our throttles down there, um, speed, altitude, and then all the engine stuff. We've got an artificial horizon. We should put a compass here. Um, what else can we have? We could have some buttons and stuff over here um, for the engines. That's not a bad idea. We could put, like,. Um, Oh, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. I think we should have, like, a, a whole, like, control panel for the engines. So we'll do that on one side. Uh, yeah, this is a good idea. So, do we want two engines, or do we want four? That That's the main, the main issue. Because if we go out a little bit more, uh, we need to make sure that the wings can fold backwards, which is going to be very tricky to do. Uh, and they're going to be, like, the same length as the plane. So the wings will fold in. I don't know how to do it. Like, we could just do it on two pivots, but I don't know whether the pivots will be strong enough to hold the wings. Another point that someone made as well was that putting all of the fuel in the wings isn't necessarily a good idea. Uh, reason being is because it's quite high. Um, and because it's quite high, obviously you've got a bit of an issue with uh, stability and stuff. So... Um, there is a, a little bit of an issue there. Just a little bit. Anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing the engine so that we can put another one in. So we copy it and we move it to the right a fair bit. Yeah, this this won't work. Because we, we don't have enough room for the for the engines. Not for the engines, for the... Uh, maybe it'll work. For the wing to fold in. It's going to take quite a bit of effort to make this work properly um also a few of you guys ended up being like or just assuming that um i wasn't gonna make big wings <laughs> like as if i was gonna just leave it stubby like this uh like an ekrano plan but um no i'm gonna make big wings don't worry so we'll go ahead and copy this move it over to the other side it's about one block away so like this is it that far yeah that looks about right go ahead and paste it and then obviously we need to do all of this stuff again so We'll actually just attach it for now. There we go. And then we'll put a bunch of these on. 
Hopefully we can make them all fit properly. If we can, that'd be great. There's one, two, three, and four. Oh, it, fit, it fits perfectly. That's good. Uh, merge this with this. And I think it does suit four rather than two. I, I do. I think it... Yeah, it does. It suits that. Um, whether or not we move the pontoons out a bit more or not, I'm not sure. I think we should. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Right, well, anyway, uh, let me open up this. There's no point in it being closed anymore. Um, and then we'll just fix all of the swing. So, I'm going to go ahead and do all of this. I'll be back with you guys once it's all back to normal. All right, so that should be it. If I spawn it in and we have a little look at this, we've actually got four engines now. Uh, I feel like that makes it look a lot nicer. Yes. Um, problem we are going to have is actually lifting off. So, although... Oh. Oh, our floaty doesn't appear to be floating too well. Hmm. Might have to make the pontoons bigger or more. I don't think we should add more pontoons. That's a weird, weird idea. Um, maybe they should be slightly bigger. Maybe one wider or something. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, it's just a lot of weight on the top of this thing so far. And not a lot of weight inside. So actually, instead of adding bigger pontoons or more pontoons, we're going to move them out. Just slightly. So... The reason you would move it out is to gain better stability in the middle. Um, the, the further out from the pivot point, the, the easier it is. More effort, etc. I, I don't know how to explain it, but still. I think I know what I'm talking about, at least a little bit. So, we're going to go ahead and cut this, and we're going to move it on to this engine instead. Yeah, so it's going to go right underneath that engine. We're going to paste it, we're going to merge it, and then we're going to do it on the other side. Drag it along. Do, 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 do. Go ahead and cut it. And move it over. And paste it again. Oop. There we go. Merge this with this. And voila. It's... I don't know whether it's going to be too far out there. However, it should be more stable, technically. And it is. It is more stable. So, our efforts are working. Fantastic. Dude, I like this already. I'm really actually enjoying this plane. Um, so yeah, I was going to put like a little bit of a bump on the roof, uh, just to make it a little bit more, or, or a little bit less flat. This is very flat up here. Um, but yeah, I actually like what we've got so far. We've got a nice, I, I like this color, it's different, um, but it, it works. Let's work on adding some sort of equipment and stuff in here, and hopefully we can make it look quite pretty and stuff. So, we need some equipment. We probably need parachutes. Just because. Um, we don't need many parachutes though. We're not going to do this on both sides. Because I said I was going to do the engine startup panel thing here. So we'll actually just put uh, some equipment over here. We'll have. We'll start with this. Alright. Arctic gear. Good. We'll then have some diving equipment. Because it is possibly useful. Um, and we can't actually fit any more up there. Okay, right, hold on. We can just delete this and move them all forwards one. So, diving equipment. We need a parachute. Yes. And we need arctic gear. And that is all the things we need. We don't need anything else. Um, because there'll only be me in the plane, ever. So, that'll be fine. Yeah, that's okay. Good. Uh, we'll then fill in this piece. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Like so. Yeah, that's fine. Um, delete these. I know it's the outside, but that's fine. And we're going to put in a few things. So, what do we need? When do we need them? We need buttons. Yes, we do. We want toggle buttons. We need four of them. Um, this is going to be the fuel. So, one, two, three, four. All right. And then we need starter. No, key. Is it called a key? Yeah. One of these, we need four of these. One, two, three, four. Um, okay, on the left over here, we should have something. Um, this is just going to be for show, I think. Yeah, this will just be for show. We're going to put in a keypad. Just for show. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then underneath, what do we want? What do we want or what do we need? You do this. Actually, we can put more equipment down here. Maybe just one. Um, something. 
One something. What do we need? What do we need? When do we need it? Now! Um... Let's actually just add another parachute. Just in case we need one. So we'll put that there. Um, and then we'll fill in these pieces. Ba -ba -ba -boom. We'll do that. We'll do that. That looks pretty cool. Uh, right, okay, yeah. So, we're going to paint the parachutes frantic red. Okay, I just painted everything frantic red by accident. Uh, we're going to paint that frantic red, that frantic red, and that's all good. Yes. I did two-sided buttons because I'm a dum-dum. I am a big dum dum. Why did I do that? <laughs> Delete all of these again. We need buttons. We need one sided toggle buttons. There we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, and they probably shouldn't be that color. There we go. Probably shouldn't be that color either, actually. We'll make them slightly different. There we go. The inside of here could be different too. And that is fine. Yeah, so uh, these will start the engines, and these will do the fuel pumps. Perfect. Um, coolant. Coolant will be done automatically, automatically. That'll be fine. Uh, and everything else is okay. Yeah. Nice. I'm liking this. This is good so far. All right, so what else do we actually need inside the cockpit? I want to put the... Um, I want to put the compass in the middle. We should have one, so we will have one. Compass sensor? Is it a compass sensor or is there an actual compass? Compass ball. Yeah, we'll have a compass ball. Uh, and it shall be green. Or whatever this color is. <laughs> uh, compass ball, yes. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, anything else we could put on the surface of that? I'm going to go with no. Uh, and I think that's fine. Okay. Just to add a tiny bit more detail to the inside of here, we're going to add these. To the floor. To the floor. All the way back. We're just going to add these pieces. Where is it? Where is it gone? This. Yeah, again, just to add a tiny bit of detail, um, the floor is not going to be green, of course. I need to do it on both sides, too. Do -do -do. There we go. It's going to be this color. That's fine. Delete this. And we need one of these. Okay, cool. So... We should probably allow it to use those, what is it, ISO things? Um, but at the same time, not massively necessary. Um, and also, just to fill this space right here, we're going to put something there, like rocket fuel boosters. Uh, and they're going to be like grey. Something. Like this. Just to fill the space, because this side... Actually, we won't have that in... Uh, we won't have that in rogue mode, so we can't really put those there. We need something else. And I don't know what. Maybe a passenger seat could just be sat here. No, not enough room. Okay. Uh, what do we have in rogue mode that is also not very expensive? What about just this? That works. There we go. Looks a bit strange, but it works. Um, Fantastic. That looks quite cool. So we've added two engines, two extra engines. We've also made quite a cool cockpit. I actually like it a lot. We're going to get rid of this. Because I don't like it. It's not necessary and it doesn't need to be there. We're going to fill these in. We're also going to paint the roof the right colors. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And boop. There we go. Uh, and then I guess we need a door or, or something here. Um, we also need a way to get in. Hmm. Yeah, we do. We do. Um, as well as that, we need a floor. So, spawn it in. We'll see what kind of height the water goes up to at the minute. It goes up to a about about where it starts curving actually so it goes up to here up to about here oh was that the back of the front that i was even looking at i don't know anyway um that means that the floor can go slightly above that and we're gonna put it we're gonna put it here okay and the floor at the minute is gonna be pink okay good so this is gonna go all the way to the front uh to here Obviously, that's going to have to match up, but that's fine. It leaves a lot of empty room down here, but we'll put some fuel in. That's good. Uh, and then, and then, and then, and then, uh, I want to put a cargo door here. So, what we have to do is we have to copy it. Let's make it mahoosive. There we go. Make it go sideways. And make it go down. Okay. We want it from about there. 
to the floor, which is here. All right, yes. How much have we got, though? Is that past the middle? I think it is. So we cut this, and we paste it. We then flip it. We take it to the other side. We do exactly the same thing. Um, so we copy it, we cut it, and we paste it. There we go. Good. And then we've got doors. Oh, yeah, we got doors. Um, oh, which means it won't be sealed. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't actually matter. That's fine. Uh, right, pivots. Here we go. The whole top bit of the plane won't be sealed. But we can make the cockpit sealed, so that's actually fine. Uh, we want red ones, probably. So we'll do that. Do, 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 do. Yes, and... Yes, there we go. Merge them in the right places. Merge, merge. Merge, 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 merge. Perfect. Um, and then just for now, we'll do a throttle. We'll have a throttle lever just plonked here for now. Uh, and a battery. Because at the minute, we got no batteries, so we'll just plonk it there. Okay, so logic tells me that I need to do this, this, um, this, and this. And then I need to give them all power. And that's it. Okay, spawn it in. Do, 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 do. And then we just do... Oh, it sinks. Oh, you know why? I know why it sinks. Because it's not sealed and we didn't do this bit. We need to, like, fill in this. There we go. Now it shouldn't sink. It should float. And it should float well. Come on. We can do this. Flowing a little worse than it should be. Okay. Uh, yeah, issues. Some issues. However, I do want to work with this design. Um... Right, how do I do this? The back just isn't buoyant enough. It's just not. There's nothing here to hold it up. Whereas at the front, there is. So, maybe these cargo doors are going to be a, uh, a fail, actually. I like them, though. Maybe we can put one on the front. So we can actually load some, some good things. Some big things. Not that it's necessary. Not really. Um, what we could do is, I was going to say raise the floor, but that's not going to work too well. Even doing this doesn't change anything, because it's still not buoyant. Uh, okay, okay. It is a cool idea, though. It is a bit of a cool idea. Hmm. Interesting. Right, okay. So, we're actually probably going to get rid of these. Uh, because... Yep, we got issues. Um, and we'll have to put a big door somewhere else. We might have a big door on the top, maybe. Just allow, like, a big hatch to open. I'm not sure. Um, we definitely need to do something. I, I need to be able to put cargo in here that is relatively large. So, as long as we tested it and we know that it's a bit of a pain in the butt, then that's fine. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, as long as we know. Um, we do still have to crawl into here and stuff, but that's okay. Uh, what we could have actually done is literally made it so you have to crawl through the entire thing. But do we really want to be crawling everywhere? I guess it doesn't... I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we're crawling everywhere, so... Maybe. And that would mean that the doors could come back, because this floor would be too higher. And I think that would work. Should we try it? I think we should try it. Let's try it. Okay, let's go back to where we've got these pieces. Logic, they're all logicked up. Good. Go ahead and delete this for now. Um, put that back on there. Do, 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 do. On this piece. Yep. Fill in this piece to here. And then delete the floor. Move it upwards a bit. Uh, and we'll see. If we have to crawl around in this entire place, that's fine. Uh, there's only me going to be using it, so that's okay. And there's going to be no one else on this plane at all. So that's okay with me. Um, floor. So we'll grab this. We'll actually fill the entire thing. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Up to there. Fill the rest of it up to there. And the rest of it up to the back. Okay. Awesome. Let's try that again. Spawn it in. Please don't sink. 
We got more buoyancy, but is it enough? Yes. Yes, it is. However, the amount of cargo that we can actually put in here is very minimal. Extremely so. Um, also, I figured that once we actually add the rest of these wings, those pontoons aren't going to be big enough or sufficient enough to actually hold us. No. They're already underwater, so. What if we raise them, though? What if there's less strain on them than there is now? That might work, maybe. I don't know, let's see. We can't raise them, like, far, but we can raise them a little bit, so. Oh, I just, I just cut one piece. What am I doing? Merge it. Merge it back up. Um. Yeah, we obviously can't, we can't raise them too high because the thing's in the way. The, um propeller but we can raise them a little bit so what we'll do is we'll get quite a bit of it there we go put it move it upwards until yeah okay um right hold on clear and resize we want it to come down a bit cut it again move it up paste it there okay so we need it to come to there. Is there still stuff inside? No. That's very close to the propellers. That is like insanely close to the propellers. Uh, we need to do a similar thing. Oh, well, the same thing on this side. So we'll grab it. Clear content. Move it upwards like two or whatever. Cut it. Move it up. Paste it. Cut it again. After resizing it to like here. Cut it. How high was it? I think it's about there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's there. So we paste it there. We obviously have to merge it. There we go. Merge this one also. Is that the same height? I think it is. All right, spawn it in. See what it does. Because obviously then at this point, we're actually using more of the buoyancy of the main plane. Um, rather than just the buoyancy of the pontoons pushing it over. Which makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, I'm so happy with this plane right now. Look at it. It's buoyant as heck. I like it. Awesome. Uh, well, anyway, uh, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this battery now. We'll delete this and we'll save those in there until later. Uh, because we will have to use them at some point. Um, which is fine. That's okay. Uh, do, do, do. I'm gonna paint these, them, and that. Oh, that makes some um, different color on the roof. What's more important, the outside or the inside? Probably the outside. There we go. Okay, so we got big cargo doors. Um, we've got a cockpit that I actually like. Like this one is possibly my my favorite looking that I've built. Um, and we've actually got a plane that floats and four 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 wings, four wings, four engines. Um. Problem is, we're going to have to put fuel in this at some point. And the fuel's going to have to go in the main body rather than the wing. Um, purely because I don't want the weight to be at the top. I want it to be at the bottom. Um, we also need to work on the coolant. Apparently, if I replace the radiator with um, just, like, a block of water, it'll be fine. We might end up doing that. Um, at the same time, somebody said we can use fuel, <laughs> which... It seems like a really bad idea, using fuel to cool an engine, but at the same time, it's just liquid, so I guess it would work. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. In the next one, I'm going to put a tail fin on, uh, but I want your guys' opinion. So, we can put a tail fin where the horizontal stabilizers are attached to this bit, or we can have the horizontal stabilizer in the air, at the top of the vertical one. Who thinks a T1 would be better than a... I don't know what the other one would be classed as, but... Um, an upside down T. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below anyway. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video. And let me know the things that you want to see improved. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.